What is going on guys? Thanks for tuning back at JWTV and welcome to a very interesting video, very interesting and very different. It has been announced earlier today that Bastian Schweinsteiger has been left out of Jose Mourinho's Europa League squad. Now hopefully in this video I am going to answer the question on everybody's mind, why? Why on earth has he been left out? And there are many aspects we can take. We can take into quality, we can take into what he can offer. We can, we can go into all that, but we're going to talk about who he's been left out of. There was four midfielders, I think, got chosen before him, so we will talk about them. And then we'll talk about why he shouldn't be left out. And maybe the biggest question on everybody's mind, his career at Man United. So let's start with the four players that he has been left out behind. He has been he has been left out over Pogba, which is fair enough. I can agree with that. He's a solid, all well rounded player, and I would have him. He's been left out uh, due to Schneiderlin. Fair play, Schneiderlin. He's a cracking central defence midfielder. He does a job. He can defend. He's got great reactions. He can do that defensive midfield role. But it's the next two players. He has been left out behind Maron Fellaini and Carrick, Marco Carrick. Now, don't get me wrong, both of them two players, they're both good. They're both good what they do. They're both solid midfielders. They're both decent pass of the ball. They're, 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 they're decent players. But I couldn't pick Fellaini and Carrick over Schweinsteiger. If I had to pick out of one, I would definitely take Schweinsteiger. And if I have to pick out the other one, I would take Carrick. Purely because I'm not keen on uh, Fellaini and I think he's a liability. But you can't leave Schweinsteiger out. You can't leave Schweinsteiger second fiddle to Fellaini and Carrick. It, I don't know what's going through Mourinho's mind. It's been said that uh, ever since Mourinho came in, that Schweinsteiger has been... He's been unhappy. He's been training alone. I think he's been training with the under-23 squad. So I read on BBC Sport. But he, ha he hasn't uh, managed to fit in. He doesn't seem to be training well. He doesn't seem to be enjoying his time at Man United. And these were the questions. Why didn't he look for a... For a transfer request in the window, just gone to request transfer. Maybe do a heart. Hearts playing second fiddle to Bravo and Caballero at City. Go to a loan. Just go for a season long loan abroad somewhere. Sean Stark may go to uh, back to the Bundesliga, to Serie A, to La Liga, to the Portuguese league. Anywhere. Because it seems like he's not having a good time. But I can't understand why Mourinho. Because Mourinho is a great manager. He's talented. He's talented like Klopp, like Conte. Uh, Wenger, he is a very talented manager, Guardiola. So maybe there is a reason behind him picking Fellaini and Carrick uh, over Schweinsteiger, but I can't see any aspects where the both of them beat Schweinsteiger. Fellaini is maybe stronger, but I'd say Schweinsteiger beats Carrick at every option, passing, attacking, defending, dribbling. He's a world-class solid player. Car Carrick is a, an average Joe mediocre player. Sean Stark has performed at the top level. He's won, I'm sure he's won the Bundesliga when he was playing at Bayern. He's won the World Cup. Sean Stark has done it all. He's a talented, well-rounded player. And at 32, he can still do the lot. So, that question I've won everybody's mind. Why would you pick Fellaini and Carrick over Sean Stark? If you guys would pick Sean Stark uh, will pick Fellaini and Carrick over Sean Stoga. Let me know your reasons to them in the comments below. Or let me know, would you take Sean Stoga and who would you replace, Fellaini or Carrick? So, that's fair enough. Maybe Mourinho has, has, a, has a reason, but I would definitely, I, would, I wouldn't leave Sean Stoga out of, out of the Europa League. Which brings us on to the next aspect. Why I wouldn't leave him out of the Europa League? He could do it all. He can attack, he's defend, his work ethic for the game is fantastic. His appetite for the game is brilliant. He puts 110% effort in. He's like Ronaldo. I, I, I'm i inspired by Ronaldo's determination to want to be the best, to want to get ahead of Messi. And he has done on FIFA now, whether FIFA and whether you guys believe that FIFA tries to match each rating to real life. But Ronaldo has that great work ethic, that determination for the game. He's got that right arrogance. For the game, that's what Schweinsteiger has got. He's got a fantastic work ethic. His appetite for the game is great, and he puts a hundred percent effort in, no matter what. He attacks, he defends. He's a great playmaker of the ball. And when you've got when you've got the strikers that United have, and when and, I mean Martial, Rashford, the young upcoming talent like Rashford, 
you want a player who, who, can, who can run up and down the pitch like a workhorse, which is what he is, but you also want that player who can, who can break on the attack, who can be that playmaker, who can feed that ball to Rashford and Martial, etc. And Schweinsteiger is that. Carrie and, Mar uh, and Fellaini could do that as well, but they're just not the level that that uh, that Schweinsteiger is. Let, let's put it into a Liverpool aspect. Let me see if I can make you guys understand a little more why this Schweinsteiger being left out is, is a really bad decision for Mourinho. Let's say uh, Liverpool were into the Europa League. Okay. You forget storage. You don't take Sturridge, but instead you take Shea Ojo and Diva Carigi. Them Liverpool fans are going to be mad. They're going to be mad as fucking anything. You leave Coutinho out and you take Brannigan and bloody... I don't know. You you take Brannigan and, and Firmino. Fair play, still take Firmino, but don't leave Coutinho out. Don't leave Sturridge out. Don't leave Schweinsteiger out. They're... The, don't leave a world-class player who's performed everywhere, who can do everything. Don't leave him out of your squad. And it, and it makes everyone wonder, why didn't he put a transfer request in, in that, in that window? In the window, just gone. He hasn't, he hasn't enjoyed his time there. I, I looked and uh, he's only played about 18 games there. Schweinsteiger, move. Do, do what Hart's done. Go abroad. Just go for a scene long loan somewhere. Come back. And see, see if you can make an impact then. And now, got, uh, boys and girls, we come on to our final point. What does his future hold at Manchester United? Before I come into this, I want you guys right now to leave it in the comments. How many of there are you? One or two of you? I don't care. Just leave it in the comments. What do you think... Of Schweinsteiger's future at United. Will he leave? Will he ever be able to make an impact? Will he ever be able to to rise? Will he look for a move back to Bayern Munich? You guys name it. And now I think I, I... I'll tell you truthfully, my opinion. I think he's going to go. Eventually, either in the Jan transfer window or the summer transfer window for the 20... We're on 16, for the 2017 to 18 season, I think he will move. I think he's still got about four or five years left in him. I think Schweinsteiger till he's about 36. He seems that type of player. He seems that type of Gerard, that Skulls player to go until they're at breaking point nearly, where they can't go no more. And I think I think he's gonna leave. He, the the one signs are there, boys. He, he hasn't been training with United. Uh, he's been unhappy. He's been left out of the squad. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's retired from international football, which isn't anything to do with United. <coughs> Excuse me. Which isn't anything to do with United or with Mourinho's fault, but I, I, I think it's coming to an end. Uh, as I said, he's getting left out of training, he's getting left out of squads, he's, he's not happy. So it's only a matter of time before he either makes a permanent move to somewhere or has a season long loan and then comes back. <coughs> Excuse me. Season long loan and then coming back, seeing if he can make a bigger difference there. But it's your turn now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. I've hoped I've covered most of it. I've covered why he was pit, uh, why he was left out over Fellaini and Carrick, because Schnodlin and Pogba I agree with. I'll take them, but I'll definitely take Schwanstager. So I hope I've I've covered that. Maybe there might be a reason for it. You don't know. But hope I've covered that. I hope I've covered the uh, aspects of his game, which is just his work ethic, his appetite to the game, his determination, the qualities he holds, playmaker, defensive, attackive. He can do it all. And finally, I hope to have covered, well, it's my, the last one's my opinion, but I hope to have covered what his future holds at United. And I think he will leave. And I think it will be a permanent leave. Maybe he might do a heart, maybe he might go on a long loan, but it will suit him better if he permanently leaves if he can go change his career somewhere else go go to a different league go to a different style of play league maybe not as quick as the prem just just go and try and ease back into it and then maybe come back to united it's now your turn boys so as always with every every video we do i'll try and get to know three things off you what do you think is in 
future for Bastian Schweinsteiger? What will he do? Do you agree that he should have been left out of the Europa League squad? So do you think he do you agree that he was left out or should he have gone? I hope most of you say he should have gone because he is a world class player. And the final one is what will it hold for him in the future? Will he ever make a return to Man United? So what is his future at Man United? Do you agree that he should have been left out or Will he make a return back to Man United slash will he move clubs? I hope you have enjoyed this video guys. Uh, before I quick go, let me just say another quick thing. Now that there's transfer windows over until January, and obviously on this channel you come to see shocking transfers, because that's what all there ever bloody is. But if you guys want to see more gaming, I know I don't set like targets anymore, but set get this video to 3 likes and I will be doing... FIFA 17 gaming. I'll probably be doing it anyway and recording it for you guys, but I, as I said, my setup is pretty crap until I can get the money together to get an Algato, etc., and tripods and whatnot. I'll use my phone right now, as I said. But if you guys want to see FIFA 17 gaming, pack up things, ride to glories, etc., get this video to three likes and I'll make that happen. And if there is any other footballing stories, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do for you tomorrow. So. Until next time guys, have a nice day and I shall see you later.